Sheldon Lee Glashor is a Nobel Prize-winning American theoretical physicist. He is the Metcalf Professor of Mathematics and Physics at Boston University and Higgins Professor of Physics, Emeritus, at Harvard University, and is a member of the Board of Sponsors for the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists. Birth and Education Sheldon Lee Glashor was born in New York City, to Jewish immigrants from Russia, Bella and Louis Glukovsky, a plumber. He graduated from Bronx High School of Science in 1950. Glashor was in the same graduating class as Steven Weinberg, whose own research, independent of Glashow's, would result in the two and Abdus Salam sharing the same 1979 Nobel Prize in Physics. Glashor received a Bachelor of Arts degree from Cornell University in 1954 and a Ph.D. degree in Physics from Harvard University in 1959 under Nobel laureate physicist Julian Schwinger. Afterwards, Glashor became a NSF Fellow at NORDITA and joined the University of California, Berkeley where he was an Associate Professor from 1962 to 1966. He joined the Harvard Physics Department as a professor in 1966, and was named Higgins Professor of Physics in 1979. He became emeritus in 2000. Glashaw has been a visiting scientist at CERN, and professor at the University of Marseille, MIT, Brookhaven Laboratory, Texas A&M, the University of Houston, and Boston University. Research in 1961, Glashor extended electroweak unification models due to Schwinger by including a short-range neutral current, the Z0. The resulting symmetry structure that Glashor proposed, SU times U, forms the basis of the accepted theory of the electroweak interactions. For this discovery, Glashor, along with Steven Weinberg and Abdus Salam, was awarded the 1979 Nobel Prize in Physics. In collaboration with James Bjorken, Glashor was the first to predict a fourth quark, the charm quark, in 1964. This was at a time when four leptons had been discovered, but only three quarks proposed. The development of their work in 1970, the GIM mechanism showed that the two quark pairs would largely cancel out flavor-changing neutral currents, which had been observed experimentally at far lower levels than theoretically predicted on the basis of three quarks only. The prediction of the charm quark also removed a technical disaster for any quantum field theory with unequal numbers of quarks and leptons, an anomaly where classical field theory symmetries fail to carry over into the quantum theory. In 1973, Glashor and Howard Georgi proposed the first grand unified theory. They discovered how to fit the gauge forces in the standard model into an SU group and the quarks and leptons into two simple representations. Their theory qualitatively predicted the general pattern of coupling constant running with plausible assumptions. It gave rough mass ratio values between third-generation leptons and quarks, and it was the first indication that the law of Baryon number is inexact that the proton is unstable. This work was the foundation for all future unifying work. Glass Hall shared the 1977 J. Robert Oppenheimer Memorial Prize with Fezag C. Superstring Theory Glass Hall is a skeptic of superstring theory due to its lack of experimentally testable predictions. He had campaigned to keep string theorists out of the Harvard Physics Department, though the campaign failed. About ten minutes into Strings the Thing, the second episode of the Elegant Universe TV series, he describes superstring theory as a discipline distinct from physics, saying, Dot you may call it a tumor, if you will. Personal life. Glashor is married to the former Joan Shirley Alexander. They have four children. Joan's sister was Lynn Margulis, making Carl Sagan his former brother-in-law. Daniel Kleitman, who was also a doctoral student of Julian Schwinger, is his brother-in-law, through Joan's other sister, Sharon. In 2003 he was one of 22 Nobel laureates who signed the Humanist Manifesto. Works.
The Charm of Physics ISBN 0-88318-708-6, from Alchemy to Quarks. The Study of Physics as a Liberal Art ISBN 0-534-16656-3. Interactions. A Journey Through the Mind of a Particle Physicist and the Matter of This World ISBN 0-446-51315-6. First Workshop on Grand Unification, New England Center, University of New Hampshire, April 10-12, 1980, edited with Paul H. Frampton and Azam Yildiz, ISBN 0-915692-317. Third Workshop on Grand Unification, University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, April 15-17, 1982 Edited with Paul H. Frampton and Hendrik Van Dam ISBN 3-7643-3105-4 Desperately Seeking Superstrings, with Paul Ginsberg and Riffing on Strings Creative Writing Inspired by String Theory ISBN 9780-9802114-05